Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, right off the bat, I am sorry if I look so out of it and tired. This is actually, I think, the first video on my channel that I've ever filmed at nighttime, and it feels so weird to be filming at night. I'm definitely the type of person that wakes up with a lot of energy, and then at night, I am just like a zombie. No energy at all. I always wish that it was the other way around, or that I just always had energy, but I am just like no energy right now at all, but I still wanted to film this video and get it out for you guys because it is my monthly favorites and I like them to normally go up during the first week of the month so with that being said um, I also want to mention that I am scratching like crazy due to my Accutane which is going to be my number one favorite this month but uh, with that being said the side effects are OD and I am so so itchy no matter how much lotion no, no matter how much like oil spray I put on my body I'm like so so itchy but anyway my number one favorite this month is definitely my Accutane it has transformed my skin I am almost finished with my third month and we are going to be doing either five or six months depending on what my doctor says but I am just literally waking up every single day in such a good mood because my skin is so clear and so smooth and so close to perfect and it, seriously I, I can go on and on about it my mood has definitely changed because of it and my makeup goes on so much nicer and I'm not embarrassed to go out and not only has it disappeared from my face but you guys know that the chest acne and the back acne was so so bad and I feel like I am a broken record here on my channel speaking about the Accutane, but it's a huge, huge part of my life right now, and it's definitely a favorite, so I did not want to skip over that. Um, yeah, anyway, I ramble a lot at nighttime. I just want to warn you guys, but I guess this is the type of video that would be one of the only videos that's okay to film at night because it's a monthly favorites video. Did I even mention that today was gonna be a monthly favorites video? I'm not even sure. But I feel like my monthly favorites videos are more like very laid back, low key, and that I don't care how long they are and I really feel like you guys are here in my room talking with me. So, perfect video for me to film right now. So, the first thing that I want to talk about are some snacks that I did get in the mail and these are from Grace Box. Now, you guys, I tried so hard not to touch these until I had my camera on because I kind of was gonna do an unboxing and taste them for the first time here on camera with you guys, but I just absolutely could not. These are from Grace Box and they're kind of like a monthly subscription snack website and each box is $11.99. These are supposed to be healthy snacks and right on the packaging it tells you how many calories, how many vitamins and minerals, proteins, they're basically really, really healthy snacks. And this is what they come like. And again, guys, I am so sorry that they are already attacked into. But I'm gonna just show you guys my favorites, which is basically all of them. I'm gonna just show you guys the snacks really, really quickly. All right, so this one is called Honeycomb Flapjack. And this is basically rolled oats covered in chocolate, loved. Here's one that I actually managed to not open until I got on camera. This is called Chocolatey Pretzel. It's only 140 calories. It comes with um, pretzels that are covered in poppy seeds and then a Nutella type of dipping. So, of dipping? Of dip. So I think that these are absolutely perfect for on the go or if you wanna put them in your kids' <gasps> lunches and this just spilled all over the floor. Rocco! Rocco! Come eat this! Come eat that, baby. Come, come clean that. Okay, that is probably not good for him, but I swear it's only a little tiny bit that fell. This one was one of my favorites. There was not a lot in here anyway. This is the iced cinnamon bun, and it has cinnamon, honey almonds, yogurt, sunflower seeds, and vanilla cookie drops. This was my favorite. I had to try so hard to leave a little bit, a little tiny bit in this packaging. And here I have a second box that yes, I also tore into that one. It was just like a late night. I was watching Netflix and literally I attacked almost every single package in both of these boxes. I just wanted to taste everything all at once. And these are the Zesty Chili Lime Cashews. This is probably my favorite out of everything because I love anything that has a lime or a lemony taste. So they're just cashews and they were delicious. This one, I opened halfway. These are the hot pepper jam multigrain soy rice crackers with hot sauce. I wanna taste one of these. These are so good. That's what they look like. Mm. These are the apple and cinnamon flapjacks, which are kind of like little rolled granola bars. 
This one is the Smoked Hickory Barbecue Cashews. I should have been showing you guys the back this whole time. This one is called Raspberry and Coconut Muffin and it comes with raspberries, cranberries, coconut, amaretti drops, and almonds. And that is what that one looks like. And the last one, which is another one of my absolute favorites, are the Banana Caramel Dippers. And it comes with banana shortbread and caramel dipping sauce. And you guys can see there is only one left. This was absolutely amazing. Trust me, I will be attacking the rest of those as soon as I'm done filming this video. I think what I'm gonna do is turn on Netflix and again, have like a binge watching session. Orange is the New Black, I already finished a while ago and now I'm kind of binge watching The Office. I don't know if you guys even know about that show or if anybody binge watches The Office, but if you guys know about that show, definitely let me know. Also let me know if you guys have any recommendations for anything on Netflix. I really wanna find like a good documentary right now or last night Night, I actually watched um, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead because a lot of you guys were recommending that that one to me over on Instagram. I guess it's about juicing and trying to eat healthy and more fruits and vegetables. Um, I fell asleep halfway through it, but I think I'm going to watch the other half tonight. If you guys know of any really good documentaries on Netflix, definitely let me know. So next thing on the list, I don't know how we started talking about Netflix. Next thing that I want to show you guys are some adorable pajamas from Adore Me and you guys, I have to show you how freaking cute this is. I don't know why I am obsessed with like pops of neon. I think that especially for the summertime, this is the cutest thing and I hope that my camera picks it up. This is what the top looks like and it's basically just a sleeping dress. It's very loose and airy. The material is beautiful. I love to go to sleep in like nothing constricting or conforming. I like my body to be able to breathe. My Yeah, my body, my skin. I have to feel like I can breathe basically. And I want you guys to see the detail in the back. I love the lace. I love that pop of neon pink and I loved it so much that I also wanted it in the pants set. So this is what the top looks like. It's pretty much identical to what the little dress looks like. And then it has the matching pants which are just long casual yoga pants. So I love this set so, so much. And then I also wanted to pick up another one of the little sleeping dresses because that's what I prefer to sleep on on a nightly basis. And this is what it looks like. It's a little black nighty or a little black sleeping dress and it has these little cutouts. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're these little mesh cutouts on the side. Maybe if I put my hand in, you guys can see that right there and I thought that this was so cute so those are my three picks from Adore Me. I do get something from Adore Me every single month so if you guys want to see my picks for next month definitely let me know. They're kind of like my go-to for pajamas lately but they also have really cute bras and panty sets so definitely check out Adore Me and the next thing that I want to show you guys might be a little bit weird to have as a favorite in my monthly favorites but this is something that I always want to hear what people recommend and it is a really good deodorant pairing. I always feel like when I hear somebody say, <coughs> I'm sorry guys, I still have like those snacks <coughs> in my throat. Sorry about that. Whenever I hear somebody say that a deodorant is really, really good, I instantly pick it up and try it because I am that girl that I take two showers every single day. I'm very self-conscious about always smelling good and I don't like to have any type of like stickiness underneath my underarms. That sounds so gross, but I'm like very, very self-conscious about always smelling good. So my deodorant always has to work amazingly. So. My favorite deodorant lately is the one by Mitchum and it's for women. It's just called their Advanced Oxygen Odor Control Technology Sour Shower Fresh 48 Hour Deodorant. So this is what that looks like. And this I've been using for years. If you guys know anything that tops this, please let me know if you have like a holy grail deodorant because this one is okay, but this is really the standout product. This is by Degree. Oh, they're Oh no, this one is Mitchum. I thought they were both from Degree. This is by Degree and it's called Motion Scent Dry Spray. Fresh Energy is a scent that I have mine in and it's an antiperspirant in a spray formula. Can you guys see that? Hopefully you can. Now this is supposed to be able to be used on its own or with another deodorant. It's an antiperspirant. What that means is that it is supposed to stop you from sweating but I feel a little bit weird just wearing this on its own. So what I do is I apply this after I get out of the shower and then I go in right in over that with my regular deodorant. I really really like this one. I have tried the one from Dove as well and I do not feel that it performs as well as this one. I believe this is around $7.99. I picked mine up at CVS and I really do like it. 
it. So next we're gonna focus on the eyes and I have been getting so many questions lately. I don't know why, but a lot of you guys have been asking me what eyeliner I have been using in my waterline because a lot of you know that I don't really like using black eyeliner inside my eyes because I feel like it makes my eyes look really small, kind of closes them off. So the one that I've been loving to use and I kind of whip this out every single summer, this is a jumbo eye pencil by NYX in the shade French Fries and I will swatch it for you guys. You can see that it's a really pretty bronze, kind of a Roman gold type of color, and I feel like it looks really nice just in your inner waterline, so that's what I've been using every single day. And next, we're gonna be talking about mascaras. First, I'm gonna tell you about two mascaras that I have been loving lately, and then I'm gonna tell you about a womp. I really hate it. So, the ones that I've been loving lately, this first one, I just filmed a video on this because it's a part of my every single day eyelash routine or my mascara routine, and it is by CoverGirl. I find the most luck with CoverGirl mascaras more than any other brand this is called the super sizer of course it's a waterproof formula and I have been loving this stuff I use it every single day I do not even pair it with another mascara and I basically have nothing but good things to say about this mascara I will link that video down below if you are interested to see it kind of in action and then I have another covergirl mascara this is called the full lash bloom and I find that this mascara gives me so so much thickness the CoverGirl mascara is really, really good in length and thickness, and the Full Lash Bloom just gives like straight up volume. So I really love both of those depending on what look I'm going for that day. And the one that I really, really hated, and I ran out, I'm telling you guys, I watched a, um, a tutorial at midnight. And I literally ran to the corner Walgreens to pick up this mascara so I could use it the next day because this girl's eyelashes look so, so amazing. Am amazing? Amazing, that is definitely not a word. Her lashes looked so amazing that I had to run out and pick it right away. This is the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. I hate it. It is so dry. It does. It kind of makes my lashes look like spider lashes and I'm the type of girl that I can put up with a little bit of clump. Not with this stuff. It makes my lashes just look like very flaky and dry and not healthy and I hate this stuff. Like this is literally a mascara that I used once and I'm going to throw it out. I do not recommend it at all. And to finish up, we're gonna be talking about face products. So the first one that I wanna talk about is this Hydrating Mist by Juice Beauty. Now I did just film this morning an updated foundation routine and you guys will see this in action. It actually was used in my last foundation routine as well. And basically this is from Ulta. I believe you can also pick up Juice Beauty at Sephora and it is called a Hydrating Mist. Now when I picked this product up, I told the girl that was helping me that I was looking for a spray that could really add a lot of moisture to my face but I did not want to pick something up that was like half water especially because setting sprays or hydrating sprays are normally pretty expensive and I felt like if I could make it on my own I'd rather do that I want something that is not just water basically bottled so I did turn this one around and she told me there was absolutely no water in this at all and I do not see any water in the ingredients the first ingredient is organic white grape juice it has organic aloe juice vegetable glycerin which is supposed to be really really good to moisturize the skin organic rosehip fruit extract Avena, oat extract, rose oil extract, um, pure essential oil, citric acid. So it does have a lot of very moisturizing ingredients and what I like to do is spray this right over my moisturizer every single morning since my skin is definitely more of a dry type since starting Accutane. So I have been loving that. Next is a product that you guys will be seeing in my updated foundation routine and it is a foundation powder or powder, I'm sorry, a powder foundation. I am wearing it right now and this has been on for about over eight hours already and you guys can see that the coverage is definitely still there. This is from Physicians Formula. It is called their Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Face Powder in the shade Creamy Natural. This is an oldie but a goodie. I do have, I believe, a review slash tutorial on this from about two years ago, I wanna say. If I can find that video, I will post it down below. But nonetheless, I do have a video coming up very soon showing you guys this stuff in action. All that I wanna say is that if you are looking for a powder foundation that has full full coverage that is gonna cover acne, hyperpigmentation, redness, big pores, pick this up. And very last but not least, I wanna show you guys my two favorite blushes of the moment. The first one is from Milani, and this is called the Baked Powder Blush in the shade Bellissimo Bronze. It is the most gorgeous, gorgeous, bronzy, orangey, warm toned color. I think that it is so, so pretty from the summertime. It just makes your skin look like it's absolutely glowing. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but not too much. I do not think the camera is gonna pick up that swatch 
at all. But I'm telling you guys, pick this up. You will fall in love. And then for those days where I want to be a little bit more on the natural side, I have been loving my ambient lighting powder by Hourglass in the shade Radiant Light. And this is what it looks like. I believe that this is marketed as a setting powder, but it has a little bit of color to it and a little bit of sheen. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but it really does airbrush the skin. That's what the ambient lighting powder is supposed to do. It kind of makes your skin look like it's glowing from within. And since this is a light shade, it looks very, very natural on my cheeks and it just kind of makes me look like I just have a nice dewy glow. And also that airbrush finish, which you guys know that I am obsessed with. And those are all of my monthly favorites for this month. Do not forget to tell me your favorite documentaries or really your favorite anything to watch on Netflix and check down below for any of the links for anything that I mentioned today. Thank Thank you guys all so much for watching be sure to be on the lookout for that updated foundation routine and i will see you guys all in my next video Mwah.